<laughs> You're like holding every supply we have. <laughs> All you need. Glues on your balance on your head. <laughs> Y'all want to hear a bedtime story? Once upon a time, there were two Shaney sisters who built a $30 modern plank headboard. But this is no bedtime story, guys, because we're gonna build it right now. Here's all you need to build this plank headboard. Two one by two by six, three one by six by tens, and one one by four by six. You're also gonna need a nailer, wood glue, and a drill in your pen. After making all of your cuts with your miter saw, you want to add your pocket holes. We're using three quarter inch pocket holes down one side of each of our planks. Except for one, one board will not have any pocket holes. What she said. The first step is to plank the headboard. These we are one by six boards, guys, and you can see Ashley has gone and put pocket holes on one side of each of these boards, and they will run into each other, so we'll get them lined up straight. And one question we're going to get asked, I know, on our website, on social media, and on the YouTube comments is, how do I make this bed bigger? If I have a queen size, if I have a full size, this is for a twin. The great thing about this headboard is that the modification, you just cut the one by six boards to size however long you want it. You can make it as long as you want it or as short as you want it. Trick we like to use when we're planking, just get a scrap board or another board from the building and even up the planks at the ends. Okay, ready, set, go. Yeah. Now guys, these are three quarter inch pocket holes and we're using one and a quarter inch pocket hole screws to attach them. I think this is a great time to talk about our nails, Ash. Those look super cute. Your nails look cute too. <laughs> How do, we, how do we protect our nails when we build furniture? Well, tip one is to make sure you go every two weeks to get your manicure done. And then tip two is dip nails. They're dipped, so it's acrylic, mm -hmm. right? Uh, yes, that you dip in, you dip your fingertips in. So we, were, we used to do the gel, and the gel chips too easily when you build furniture. So this is super strong and durable, and I rarely chip them. If I'm sanding though, I'll put gloves on when I'm sanding so that they don't get scuffed. The gold is just for bling, it's just fun. It's on both of my ring fingers, and Whitney and I usually match our colors together. Because I don't want you to get a cute nail color, and then I wish that I had gotten that cute nail color and have to wait for two weeks That's to okay. change it. That's fair. Okay, we're all done, and now our second step is to trim around the edges because we got those rough edges, so we're gonna clean them up with some trim, and it'll look really pretty. We're gonna start with the two side pieces, and those are gonna be as long as the headboard is tall. Hold a one by two up to the side of the headboard and mark where you need to make that cut. Make one for each side. Ashley's gonna put a two by four under the headboard and that just gives us more room to fit the nailer in to put those side pieces on. For those of you that don't have a workbench, this is a great option to get the piece up off the floor so that it's easier to work with. When we attach these one by twos to the planks, we're gonna keep the one by twos flush on the front side with the planks. Now that we've got the side trim attached, we can measure for the top piece and measure and cut that to fit. We're gonna attach it the exact same way. All right, headboard's done. Guys, that is a super simple headboard. Almost crazy easy. Yes, and at this point you can paint it, stain it. Ashley did a really cool chevron pattern for hers. But this is like a 15 minute headboard. It costs about $30 in lumber because we only used five boards. And to hang it, you can hang it so many different ways. If you wanna find out how we hung it, go to our website and I've got the detailed instructions on the website. That's a really cute bed. It is a cute bed, but speaking of beds, I'm tired. Let's take a nap after we eat. Good plan.